Milos Raonic, mate, incredible start. Welcome back to the Australian Open. Talk us through that match. It's uh, tough, really, to to be able to say too much because it comes down to a few points here and there. Um, I'm very glad I served well. That was uh, incredibly important. I got a little fortunate on a few uh, opportunities that I had, and uh, you know that discipline paid off throughout the whole match. Now you only you didn't face a break point all night. You only lost four serve, uh, points on serve the whole first two sets, and really volleyed really well. Was that a big emphasis for you in the off season? Yeah, I want to come forward. Um, you know, I've done it at spurts throughout uh, my career, but I feel like it's what I need to do to give myself the best chance possible, to give myself a chance to be able to play throughout the whole year and to be able to play at a top level. And Nick was struggling a little bit with his knee. Is it tough for you to stay in the moment when your opponent is carrying a bit of an injury? Yeah, it's tough. It's uh, tough against Nick anyways because uh, he... Uh, he takes the match through so many motions. Uh, it's uh, very important that you sort of stay on top of yourself. And um, I'm glad that I got some support in here. I know you guys were very supportive of your own, as, as you should be. Thank you. Um, and you know, it's uh, on to the next one. Mate, I love you here now. You've been working with the legend Goran Ivanisevic. He looks like he's been a great influence on you. But you guys are pretty different characters. Is it a case of opposite attract? Um, we're pretty different. We're not too different. We just, uh, we just express ourselves differently. Um, I haven't broken as many rackets, but he's helped me out in uh, many other ways, so I'm thankful for that. And you were telling me before, you've got your team with you, you actually travel with your own chef. Is that because you're a really bad cook, or what's the deal with that? That's because uh, I'm too lazy to go out. <laughs> I'm too lazy to go out. There's great food here. I've enjoyed it the first week, but now I start hibernating, and... Uh, I want my food ready for me. I don't like waiting at a restaurant, so that, this is the quickest way. Mate, it doesn't get any easier for you. You've got Stan Varenka in the next round. We wish you luck. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Milos Raonic. Nice luxury to have, isn't it? Travelling with your own chef. You ever had that rash? Uh, yeah, well... No, I don't. I don't know that bad. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't like waiting at restaurants. So. Okay. Well, no, that's what Milos said. Yes.